just remember, everyone, the first and only rule of building your own sanctuary, pick up everything. Go to a trader, trade with them for goods. Buy hot plates, buy globes, buy light bulbs. Anything. Just get as much stuff as you can, as much junk as you can, because the junk is what you use to make everything in this world. And you're going to need a lot of it, so <laughs> get into it. Hey everyone, it's Kazanmore here, and today I'm going to teach you about building your base in the sanctuary. This is really exciting, Fallout 4 first day, and wow, is it a good game. So if you need tips for building a sanctuary, get them here. Okay, the first thing you have to do is finish the quest. Where is it? Here it is, When Freedom Calls. That will allow you to get Preston Garvey and his friends to go to Sanctuary, and they'll sort of get you on your first trip into how to build. Once Preston and everyone get to Sanctuary, you want to go up and find Preston. And if you could talk to him, he will tell you to talk to Sturges. Sturges is, of course, this man here. He's sleeping in my game because I gave him a bed. That's part of the quest. Technically, first of all, you don't actually have to start this quest to finish the quest. You can do everything before you start the quest and then just turn it in afterwards. That's fine, too. I just started the quest because, you know, one way to do things. The first part of the quest requires you to make five beds. Now to do that you have to press and hold on the PC you press and hold the letter V. That'll bring up the workshop. On Xbox you have to press that little button with the two squares. It used to be the select button, not anymore. That's the Xbox One version, the squares. I hope you know what I mean. And in the PS4 version I'm assuming you have to press the same. I don't have a PS4 I've only got an Xbox One and a PC, and I'm using my Xbox controller on PC. That's how I know. I didn't buy the game twice. <laughs> uh, okay, so once you've brought up that, you have to navigate to the furniture section. Once you're at the furniture section, you just navigate to beds, and you've got the beds here. The easiest bed, in my opinion, not in my opinion, it's just a fact, is the sleeping bag. That's the ones I've put down here, and I've also put down a nice little bed for me. That's not required, but, you know, it's part of the fun, the creating your own world. So that's the first part of the quest, and arguably the easiest. <laughs> the next part, we have to go to resources. We're going to need to make some water pumps. Now, for the five people you have currently in your place, two water pumps is enough. I just put them here. You can put everything anywhere. That's the great thing about this. You can just customize it however you please. So you go to water, you need some things. Just remember, pick up everything you see, because you can use almost anything to build in your sanctuary. It's amazing. It's, it's just a beautiful system, and it gives people like me who like to pick up everything something to do. <laughs> the next step is arguably the hardest for me, I found. It's finding food. What you have to do is find enough food to cover how many people you have. That's five people. As a side note, you do have to assign someone to the food to actually let it grow. Otherwise, it'll die and the people won't be happy. I found that out after the video. If you want to know how to assign people, skip over to the guard section of the video. That'll tell you how. And I've had trouble finding food at first, but I'll tell you a little trick. If you do the next quest, which is called... The first step. If you do that quest, uh, it will lead you straight to a farm. And you can pick all their food, they don't care, and bring it back and plant it in your own garden, which is great. It's I assume it was done this way on purpose, because uh, it's a tough world out there, guys, and finding food's not easy. <laughs> so once you've planted enough food, the final thing you have to do is make defenses. Now, defenses are a little more complicated in that there's two versions of defenses. Let's just get into defense there. Okay, first, we've got guard posts. What you do with guard posts is you can set them down anywhere. I'll set one down right here. 
Oh, by the way, press E to build, and you can left and right click. Again, I'm not sure what this is on the other consoles. I'm assuming it's use the right thumbstick. That's my assumption. If I'm wrong, sorry. And on PC, you can left and right click to turn them around. I was going to say that later, but I might as well say it now while I've got it out. Okay, first is guard posts. What guard posts do is allow you to assign someone to defend the area. So to assign someone, this took me a while to figure out. I'm not going to lie. And I think a few people online too took a while to figure out because there's a lot of posts online. But basically what you have to do is keep your workshop open. Walk up to someone, say Marcy here. Press E on the PC or whatever your activate button is. And then you've got to go back out. Find your guard post. Walk on over to it there. And press E again. That assigns them, and they should come running out. Okay, she's not running out, but you saw that it was assigned. Oh, she's making herself something? I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. But now she's assigned, and you get the defense the defense bonus up in the top there, you see. And basically, what you have to have for a defense bonus is... Why is my food gone? Sorry, I'll figure that out in a sec. <laughs> um, you need to have a defense bonus that is at least equal to the number of water and food that you own combined. So for me, I did have six food and six water. That would mean I need to have at least 12 defense. You can also do turrets. Turrets are, in my opinion, a better option because they don't require you to assign anyone and they look pretty cool too. So basically with turrets, they require a lot of circuits. So you want to pick up a lot of hot plates, circuit boards, things of that nature to get these circuits because they're going to be really useful. Also oil. Pick up all the oil you can find because so far I have not had enough oil. You can you just use it for a lot of stuff. Basically in my opinion, the best machine gun tur uh, sorry, the best turret um early on is the heavy machine gun turret. Basically you need gun nut rank 1, but it produces three defense more than the other one and it doesn't really require that much more to put into it. So if you're okay with getting gun nut 1, Definitely go with heavy turrets, but if you need to, go with guard posts too, they're good. And that's all of the defense. As this is actually a lot like um, Fallout Shelter, you get your happiness up there in the right. As that rises, I assume things happened. I haven't played the game quite enough to know that yet. Uh, and you'll get more people, I assume. Once you've done all that, you can finish the quest. That's good. That gives you a bit of experience. Great. But that's not what you're here for, right? You've done the quest, you know how to do that. We want to learn how to do cool things. <laughs> like, say, power. So with power, first you need a generator to make the power. So we can choose a generator. Okay, I don't actually have enough for any generators right now. So here's a jump cut. Bam, it's just that easy to find lots of gears. <laughs> Okay, so I managed to build something that requires power. I, you just need to do the same as always with the actual placing and building. That's the easy part. And then what you have to do, first you build the generator, and then you have to build a pylon, which will connect the generator to whatever you want to power. So it's like real life. You have the street pylon thingies. Sorry, I'm tired. I haven't slept since I bought this game. But yeah, those thingies. <laughs> and yeah, so what you do, you walk up to them with PC, you press space to start attaching the wire, and then you get this cool little animation of the broken wire, and then you want to mouse over what you want to connect. Press space again, and it's connected. And look at that, it's making a noise. And that, my friends, is electricity in a nutshell. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <laughs> With electricity, you can do lots of great things. You can make a really annoying... T okay, I gotta... I get, no, that's... You can turn off the motor. So you can turn off generators at any time. That'll allow you to stop that really annoying noise. I don't know why you'd want to put that down, but hey, it's up to you. It's your world. Power can be used for a lot of really neat things. Light bulbs in your houses, or outside if you want one something like this. You've got fans with light bulbs. I mean, the world is your oyster with this. It's great. This is all the other stuff you can... This is something that could could be really important to you if you really want to build 
it attracts new settlers to your settlement when you turn it on. So you just turn it on and people will come. And then you build more beds and you grow. Because that's what we want to do, right? We want to play Fallout Shelter. And it's got lots of really cool things. It's got a light boxes, terminals you can connect to things to make them work better. Uh, in furniture, if you go to furniture, it's got miscellaneous. Has TVs. And you connect them to power. I don't know if they actually do anything when you connect them to power. But hey, it's it's neat. It's really cool. And it's a fun little system. You can make your you can literally make your own little town. It's not like superficial or anything. You can make chairs, containers, power it all. My favorite personally is this great painting of a dog. Where is it? There it is. Isn't that cute? And you can just put that on the wall. Any way you like. Just press E to build it, and bam, you've got a painting on your outside wall, because why not? The world is your oyster. One final thing I want to talk about is structures. Let's go somewhere where we can put a structure. And basically what structures are, are a way to build, completely build your own town. So what you want to do is you go into structures, you can build them in wood, metal, you can build doors, fences, and miscellaneous. Of course, miscellaneous is great. See, we've got poles. That's all. We've got poles. I'm sure you get more stuff to build later in the game. Oh, do quests or something. I, I haven't played that far into that part of the game yet, but yeah. You can make prefabs, which are just like floor, different styles of floors and roofs with um, walls on them. And with that, you can, you can literally make entire houses with this system. It's amazing. See? Bam. There's a prefab, an entire house, right there. So I place it down. Oh. Bam. You got yourself a house. And you can use that for whatever you like. It's really all about your own, your own creativity in the world. And that's just prefabs. You can also make everything yourself. Look. You can put floors down. Uh, if I can find a place to put them. Put it there. There's all those different floors you can put walls on. Uh, put it there. There. Bam. Walls. You can put walls with doors. So you can actually, you know, make a doorway. I think I'm running out of... There we go. I'm not running it at all. And then you can put doors in the actual doorway, which is neat. <laughs> Bam. Like that. Just that easy. Isn't it amazing? So... I hope that this has been informative. I hope that I'm not rambling too much. As I did say, I am very tired. Haven't slept. It's 4 p.m. the next day. Came out last night. But it's it's honestly a great system, and you just use it, go wild. If you want to do a video reply to me, uh, you can do do a video reply. Do they do those anymore? If you If you can't, post it in the comments. I'll look it up. A look at your amazing new town. So please get out there and build, because it's fun and it's it's just amazing. Honestly, like gameplay wise, it's really great. And just remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good week, everyone, because the wait is over, and the wasteland you be kicking. <laughs>